There was a time when resources seemed endless. But in 2030, the great energy crisis began. With hardly any resources left on our world, global powers created the World Space Agency to look beyond the Earth for answers. The answer was found in Helium-3, a powerful isotope discovered in abundance on the Moon. With it, humanity could satisfy its energy demand for decades to come. And so, in 2032, Mankind colonized the moon. Spearheaded by the Lunar Council, the WSA constructed several permanent settlements to harvest and process helium-3. The resulting energy was transferred to Earth through a revolutionary energy network, the Microwave Power Transmission, or MPT. For a time, all seemed well. Then, one fateful night in 2054, the lights went out. No energy. The MPT had gone offline, and communication with the lunar colonists was lost. Without earthly resources to launch a full-scale rescue mission to the moon, the World Space Agency was shut down permanently in 2055. But a small group of former WSA colonists refused to accept humanity's bleak future. Determined to discover the colony's fate and to restore the MPT, they've been preparing their mission in an abandoned desert launch facility. Now, in 2059, they are ready to launch an astronaut to the moon. What awaits is unknown and unforeseeable, but the mission is clear. Deliver us the moon. Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Garbo Experiment. So as you just seen there, new game just came out on Game Pass today. I think it's new release today as well. Um, deliver, us, deliver us the moon. So we shall jump straight in and uh, see what this game's about then, shall we? family of the missing lunar colonists gathered all around the world tonight in remembrance of the 2054 MPT blackout that resulted in a global power outage and the loss of contact with the lunar colony. The blackout caused global turmoil which ultimately led to the closure of the World Space Agency one year later. In other news, the recent formation of the largest dust storm on record has prompted climatologists to readjust their forecast of the equatorial desert's growth rate. As a result of the new storm, the desert could soon cover 30% of the globe's landmass. Several governments have pledged support for refugees, despite reports of resource shortages. The dust right storm then, is expected to hit residential zones between the northern sequence and the access um, by late afternoon, and pass over the World Space Agency's former and the ground back? station in the We've Adenau done Desert. It a thousand the times before during our simulations. We know you can do this. Good for luck. For countries Claire. north of the equatorial desert, temperatures are expected to be a mild okay. 46 degrees Celsius. This was Nicole Cage for World News 1. Right then. December 16. We're ready to what? start the mission. Do you copy? Yes. That's our suit. We got anything else about round here first though? Uh, I think that's it though, just jump straight into the suit. Ground control to Fortuna 1, this is Claire. Please confirm radio contact. Welcome. Confirm radio contact. contact confirmed. Make your way to the launch platform and prime the rocket for liftoff. We have to launch before the dust storm hits. Okay. Well then, so we had a little bit of first person and now we're in third person. Wow. There 
Jesse is the tourist spies. It took us four years to get her ready for launch. But you need to hurry. The dust storm will hit this area in a few hours. If we don't succeed now, the Fortuna mission will be over for good. Right then. Let's head over to the Taurus 5 then, shall we? Anything around? PT na network dish. Okay. So we can scan things. Got anything in here? Just checking it out. Ah, cool. So when we're outside, I think it's third person, and come inside, goes to first person. What we got here? A mother lost. Okay. End of the Age of Wires. Okay. That's quite cool that, that it changes. Can we go in here? Okay. Right then. Let's go that, shall we? Or this Spudnik Monument. Uh, okay. Right then, up to the Taurus 5, see if there's anything to scan on the way. That's the way up. Ah, okay, so I think that's broken. Climb up this ladder and see if we can fix it. We'll do it by hand. Nice. Although I don't know how we have power. It said we've all the powers lost, so I don't know what we're running off. Must be some other backup generator sort of thing or something. Right, where are we going? This way. <coughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the door to open, but we've got to press the button anyway. Wow. That's the old dish. Since we last received a microwave power transmission from the lunar colony. At first, no one believed it would be possible to transmit energy from the moon back to Earth. But the WSA proved the skeptics wrong. Just like you will, when you get the MPT back online. Right, we shall get it done then, shall we? In we go. Oh god. That's dark. Anything of interest though? Oh, collect. If power is out, use 3548 for the door. Okay. So. Three, five, four, eight. Nice. It's always good to look around straight away. What do we got here? What does this do? Oh, okay. There's some light in there, shall we? Through this door. This building once functioned as part of the WSA, but it's been our home for many years now. I still can't believe you'll be leaving here for good soon. The desertification of this whole region won't take long after the storm passes through. Um, did I need to do that yet? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's continue on through. Wow, this place is a mess. I think being home for years, it could have tidied up a bit. Uh, this way? Inspect. Okay. 
No, I wouldn't expect that. During the Hygiene's malfunction we had come with comms with Earth. The black out is different. How does it whole colony go silent? What happened up there? Okay. So that is our main objective to find out. Right, and that is the Fortuna. Okay. Oh. No. Broken ASE unit. Okay. Right. A lot of stuff to inspect. Don't forget everyone we've lost that day. Okay. Antidepressants. Oh, that's not good. Right, through here. Anything about there? I think that's it. So it's up these. Oh, you can say up these stairs, but we need to move that out of the way first. We are in a flashlight. Not very bright. Uh, upstairs. Control center, yes, we're heading the right way. Alright, what have we got in here? What is that? That's weird. That's Claire's office anyway, so that's the one who's talking to us. Oh, we've got a note on the wall over here. Beer pong. Oh, okay. It's one way to pass the time, I suppose. Oh. Isolated three plausible causes for the MPT blackout. One, the transmitter at Pearson Space Station. Claire, there you are. Come on, we're celebrating in the other room. Everyone is looking for you. I need to go over this one last time, Maria. We've been over it before, multiple times. We're good. Come. It's time to join the party. It won't take long. I'll be right there. A true Johansson. Once he set his mind to something, I could never convince him either. You're just as stubborn as your father. <laughs> Probably the only thing we have in common. I, I just don't understand why he didn't restore the MPT connection. He invented the damn thing. And now it's just us. No one else is even trying. If we fail... Remember what I told you. If it can be done, then we're going to do it. That's all we have to focus on. Go over your notes. Join us when you're ready. All right. Causes of the blackout. Right. You're in the control center. Get the rocket ready to launch as fast as possible. Rebooting. Calculating new storm ETA. Claire, we have a problem. The storm is approaching faster than expected. Way faster. Time's running out. Keep going, Fortuna. We've been working too long to give up now. Um... Okay. Close both hydrogen valves. Orientation. Is that this one? Okay, maybe not that one then. 
We have to go outside. Um, orientation. Um, I think we may have to go outside. Across here. Oh, we can call the lift up now, though. Ah, here we go. Hydrogen valve. Looks like it. Turn this one. There we go. Yeah, that's it. One on the other side. Okay, so I need a little... Ah. Ah, that's not good. Um... Right. Oh, it does. Step ladder. Uh, that thing we moved. Is this going to come up? No. Ah, can I get on it and call it, go back down there? Yes. Right. Let's go down. Grab this step ladder thingy from downstairs that I moved. That thing just there. Head back up and uh, turn this other lever. Oh, valve, I should say. Sorry. Right. Is this going to work? Let's give that a go, shall we? Perfect. Let's turn this hydrogen valve off. Sorted. Let me put that in the slight wrong place, but okay. it works. Hydrogen so let's go. Head back inside the control center to prime the rocket for launch. Okay. What do we do now? Oh, turn launch key. Okay. So I assume. This would be the launch key. We gotta run. Let's go quickly. Let's get out of here before this dust storm destroys everything. Although I don't want to miss any secrets. I don't think there is any. Quick. Right, let's go up. Let's get this rocket in the air, shall we? And up to moon. Up to the moon, sorry. Um. No idea where I'm going, but it looks like the right way. Should have read it properly. Ah, uh, I get that wrong. Um, no. Um. Ah, uh, 
I'm not going to do this right, am I? Mission. Ah. Okay. That didn't go too well. Right. So, flip. Ground launch sequencer started. Oh, it's up there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Orbital access arm retracting. Be a little more careful. Oh. Perfect, just like with practice. Right, so... Up. Down. Up. Then... Down, down, up, up. No. Auxiliary power units booting up. Um, all left. Okay. Gaseous oxygen vent arm retracting. Vent arm safely in place. All right then. Okay, three, four, five. Zoom in. There we go. Okay, so you got to move at the same time. Uh, six. Alright, that's that right. Seven. Okay, what do we do next? Uh, oh, okay. I can't see what we do next now. Let's just keep it, pay attention down here and see if anything pops up. Wow. Going through the clouds by looks things. Stage separation, second stage ignition. How? Oh. Wow. It was breathtaking when the first astronauts made their way to the moon just a hundred years ago. They knew an Earth full of life. All we know today is dust. Can bring the MPT network back online, it could restore the hope humanity lost after the lunar colony fell. We could recover, rebuild, and most of all, start thinking about a future. Yeah, I'm fix all the You're dust, I guess. The MPT transmitter at the Pearson space station. From there, the power signal was relayed to Earth. Oh. This was the final link in the MPT network before the blackout. If there are answers to find, they're at Pearson, Claire. We need to head down to the shelter. These winds are getting bad. Understood. For Tuna One, this storm is going to jam radio contact. You'll be on your own for a while. To reach the station, you must. Once you're in the purple, give me the second page of the law. Please. Um. I didn't get a word of that. Right, let's turn that off. Okay. And then press that. Right then, let's get to the moon.
Deliver us the moon. station Okay, this perfect. Come in too fast, we we'll smash against the space station. Oh, that's it. Almost there. could say same about the uh, launch to be honest but never mind we are docked PT network offline, station power very low, and life support offline. So I guess we're gonna, we're gonna have to uh, figure out how to get all those back online. What have we got through here? Nothing. Okay. Oh wow, this is difficult to control. Down here? Okay. Oh. Being in zero G is strange. Airlock. Okay. Um. Objective bring life support systems back online. Central hub. Okay, um, right. Now I did see some whoa, oxygen in my space show. Oh, what's this? I don't know what it was, but I'm going to grab it anyway. Um, so, I guess just continue forward. And, oh god, I'm going to end up smacking my head on everything. Oh, okay, that was, <laughs> I meant to grab that then. Ah, oxygen, nice. Perfect. Life support system, right. Reboot, interact. Not enough power to reboot, reboot the life support system. Okay, so I guess we need to find... Well, loads of oxygen. Um, I guess we need to find another one of those, two of those canisters, by looks things. Is 
is there one here apart from a load of oxygen? That's stuck, that door by looks things. Right, so we know where the O2 is. ASE parts. Ah, oh, cool. This is a this is a weird control end being in zero G's. There we go, there's one. Whoa, slow down. Is there anything else in this one? Okay, I can't. I don't think I can carry two, so let's take this one back. Let's see if this gives us enough power. Yeah, that's one. Is that going to give us enough power? Or are we going to need another one? I think we're going to need the other one. And there's oxygen. Which is good. Can we go anywhere else? Or can I take that one out that door? Will that work? Ah, I think I can. So I get my orientation right. Um, so let's take that out of there. I think what I have to do is put this one in here, which holds the door open for me. All right, and then take this one out. Okay, there's so another door won't close. Put this one in here. Nice. Now the door's going to close though, because the door has no power, but we need more. We need oxygen over door power at the moment. Right, reboot. Activating life support system. Right, so that's that done. Life support systems on Oxygen levels rising. So that's one thing done. Access station power inside the control center in Libya Libra wing. Right. Did that open? Okay. So we need to go to three. We are there at the moment. How do we get there then? Do we go down? We go down. Through here, central hub. There we go. Get my orientation right again. Whoa. Right, we're gonna have another recording here as we go through. Copy. Copy control. We're all set. Ready for descent. The MPD network is still down. Expect the lights to go out as you descend towards Copernicus. Thanks for the heads up, Pearson. Remember, Sarah, our oxygen here in the station is limited. After arriving, you'll have 40 minutes to find out what caused the blackout and bring our MPT network back online. If you're not back by then, we'll have to evacuate without you. We hear you, Control. Rolf, you ready? I am. And don't worry, Control. It's probably just a glitch. We'll be back before you know it. Let's find out how they've been holding up down there. Alex, commence descent protocol. All systems go. Descent in three, two, one. Descent engaged. Gone. All right, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I've just done a full circle. Um, I think. This door. Okay. Um. What does that do? Does that close? Yeah, it closes it up. Okay. Oh no, because I want to have a look outside. That is so cool. So I guess that where they went, maybe down the lift in that. Right, we need to find that wing. 
and I'm not heading in the right direction. Let's open that one. Cool. And that's where I came in. So head around this way, I think. Is this going to tell us where we are? Yeah, we're in. Uh, so it is just here, I think. There we go. Ibra. So let's head in here. Well, smacking the head on the roof as we go through. All right, let's get this control center back online, or the rest of the. So we need to do through here. If I can fit. There you go, buddy. Almost there. We'll touch up your paint up later. Don't worry. Are you ready to go? We've almost got the elevator running again. Yeah, just fetching up Alex before we head down. Are you bringing that thing along? Of course. We'll need all the help we can get. And besides, you wouldn't have made it through that airlock if it hadn't been for him. <sighs> this MPT blackout can't be just a glitch, Rolf. Everything is still dark down there. Last time there was an outage. <sighs> did you hear the message from Earth? No. What did they say? They can't even send ships up here anymore without the MPT. It's crazy, right? We're the only ones able to investigate the blackout. Sarah, we need to get you guys down to the surface ASAP. We don't have much time. <sighs> okay, let's go. Wow, that looks messed up, that Earth. Oh, my beautiful blue pearl, 1969. So look at it now. Wow. Ruined. Alright, what is this? Cryo sleep machinery, okay. Ah, what have we got here? They changed all the codes again. The new code is 2539, okay. Control center two five three nine. That's why you inspect before, and you don't get the wrong code straight away. Two five three nine. Yeah, always check around first because then you get the code straight away, and you don't have to go back and look around. Right. Oh, this is so cool. That's a lot to read. So we've got oxygen. So I guess we need to find a power source for this. MPT network. Okay. Diagnosing. Person space station MPT transmitter and receiver offline. Connection to the MPT network not established. Contacting Moon Hub. No connection with Moon Hub. Right. Oh, additional energy required. Rotate station for additional power. Uh, station retain engine offline. Okay, right. So we have a new objective. Reach Ares Wing through the Orion Wing. Okay, find a way to power the station rotation engine in the Aries ring. Okay. Alright, so that is in front of us is the Orion wing. So there's was there four guys or four people up here? Those were obviously the two that went down. So what happened to the other two? Because their spacesuits are still here. I 
have we got to do here? Interact. Okay. Oh, so we are just uh, to clear the locks. Alright, oh, I can't activate the airlock behind me now. Okay. Ah, oh, nice! So, does that mean we have that tool now? We do. Cool. So now we can do stuff ourselves. Ah, we got more to cut. There was a um, cut in emergency, so there was obviously an emergency already. Well, or the MPT off went offline, or does that hold the oxygen? Is that why it's already floating about? Where'd it go? And I've lost it. Can we go in here? What's floating towards me? Nope. Oh, that's not good. Where has it gone? Ah, there it is. Right. Let's grab this and head through those panels we just cut off. Oh, okay. So they've got oxygen in these boxes. So we have to cut them off in an emergency. Let's get these ones cut as well. And it is an emergency, so we can cut it all off. Nice. Maybe let's grab some more oxygen. Oh, okay, cut around the front. Nice. Come on then. Where's you two? Some more. Let's head through where I just cut off. Got more oxygen just in case. Um. Ground control to Skinner One. We're still not reading anything from the MPC. Is everything under control up there? Yeah, I'm working on it, alright? Let's grab some more oxygen. So we don't actually have that long of oxygen, so we've got to be kind of quick with this. Nice, there's an airlock there, I think. And how... Ah, nice. Just cut it off. Right, let's head inside. Get through this airlock. Construction anytime soon? Uh, the council claiming more supplies each week? I doubt it. I'm surprised we got this past MacArthur in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, I'm getting strange readings here from the lunar surface. Are you seeing anything? Just wrapping up. What the hell? All the lights are shutting down. Are you alright, Rolf? What just happened? I can't see it. We lost power from the MPT. The whole station is down. Can you find your way back to the airlock? Negative. I don't have a visual. 
Right. I'm sending Alex to block the airlock doors. Do you see him? I see his flashlight. Heading back to the airlock. What's going on? Everything on the surface is dark. Rolf, not now. What's your ETA? Ten seconds. Make it faster. Once the airlock seals, you'll be locked out. Alex is blocking the door for you, but he can't hold it much longer. Okay, what happened then? Orion wing plate. What happened? Okay, we are in the Ares wing now. Maintenance. What's going on in there? Okay, I can't get through there yet. Or that way, for that matter. Cut in emergency. Perfect. So, what have we got in here then? Okay, how am I supposed to get through here? Without being electrocuted. Carefully. Got it. And that, just like that, turns all the power off. I guess we're going through this hatch over here now. I didn't even try the door, but I don't think it's on. Life support system. So this is the oxygen, or where the oxygen comes from. Well, right, he's got a good view. Right, yeah, why is the door not? Online. It's locked. Okay, right. So, where are we heading? Through the life support system. Okay. Find a way to power the station rotation engine in Aries Wing. Provide the power to the station rotation engine. Find the rotation engine and maintenance area. Reach area swing through the Orion Moon. Okay. Right. Rotation engine's three. So, do we need more power, or...? So that's going to take my life support away though, isn't it? That's right. Okay. Cut all these off. To be able to get down to that power supply. Got to get through this maze. I can't grab it. No. Are we missing something? Let's go up. Up and around. Ah, that's it. There we go. Whoa. Nice. 
transport energy supply at 40 percent yeah see that's what i mean i'm taking the power away from the life support But we need it for the uh, for the um Okay. Is there one even there is one in there. Right at the back. Can I get through that? Or is there an easier way? I guess we just have to try it slowly. Ow! Ow! Okay. Slowly didn't quite work. After the third attempt, we got it, and it turns it off so we can just sail back through. Whew, okay, yeah. Uh, electric kills. And it stuns you so you can't move properly, and then you get hit again, and then you're dead. So, uh, right, let's carry on with the next task in hand, please, not the electric. Oh, electric as well. Okay. At least we can cut some to make it easier. But still, that's a lot that I cannot cut. Let's just cut. As many as possible. Right, so we can't go over. So we have to go down this way. Let's get my orientation right. Let's carefully. Ah, you see what I mean? Right, break. Wait, wait, wait. My health come back properly first, because two hits and you're dead. Right. Carefully. No. Am I, am I hitting my knees or something? Am I just looking down or am I like I'm just trying to figure out how my body is behind me because obviously I can't see it at the moment. So I have to shoot. I don't know. Because I'm trying to think. Try that. Come on. Okay. Yes. Yeah, well, am I going to turn it all back on or something afterwards? Right, that's the rotation engine online. Power will so. be redirected from life support to rotation engine. Access control center to activate engine. Life support failure. Okay. So, up here? Yeah. Life support shutting down. Oxygen reserves low.
I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? Have I? No. I'm going to go back in here. So the control centre. And let's head down and... That's not good. this? I don't know. Go oh. Rubbish. No, sleeping quarters. So I was going the right way, this way. Who the quarters? Have I gone completely the wrong way? I think I have. Where do we have to go? It must be the right way then. But it didn't let me back out, so. Um... Yeah, it is here. Oh, okay. Uh... Control center. Interact. Activate rotation engines. There we go. Rotation engine activated. Space elevator online. We'll grab oxygen on the way. So we do not have a lot. Twenty five seconds. Yes, more oxygen. We see some more oxygen, I think. No. There is though. Come on. Quick. Yes. There's more in the next. Ah, there's loads. What happened then? The whole. Oh no! I wanted that oxygen! Quick. Yes, we just got to keep heading back to there by looks things. Some more oxygen, I can see it. Come on, we can do this. Oh, like half of the station is just gone now. Did I do something wrong? That's my shuttle. Right, let's get in here. Must be an airlock. Hopefully an airlock. Although there's no oxygen left on the ship. Or the station even. Ow! Quick! Oh, 
breach detected. We've got to get inside quickly then. Press the button. Press the button. Okay. We're making our way down. I'm going to leave that episode there, guys. Brilliant start to a new game. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you get notified when I upload a new episode of this game. Thanks, guys, for watching.